Uh, Marco and KG, you guys well as knows anybody that this league is a grind. Um, every game is as tough as it gets. A game like tonight, how important is it to to not have to battle till the very end and kind of win this one going away? Yeah, of course. Um, especially when we're at home, we always want to win and try to make a statement with the home crowd advantage. And just getting out early helps us a lot because our uh, crowd is amazing. So once they lift us up, um, it helps a lot of things. And now, Marco, can you just talk about your performance? You almost matched your career high and just going out there and playing without Kev. Uh, you know, it was definitely uh, something that I was, uh, you know, thinking a little about a little bit before the game. Just, but uh, you know, just staying confident in my work and the work that I put in uh, leading up to this game, and uh, trusting my teammates and them having trust in me to pass the ball to me in, in, in open circumstances, and you know, just uh, getting lucky with uh, getting off the ball, going to the basket. Oh, Marco, what did you know you were starting the game, and kind of what was your mindset, uh, you know, coming into this game? Uh, you know, Kev was kind of shaky. We were shaky between, uh, you know, his play uh, during shoot around, and then I found out uh, uh, right before the game. So, uh, you know, like I said, just uh, staying ready so we don't have to get ready. There's two ways of looking at it. Not having Kevin here, pressure to perform, or the opportunity to perform where you might not get that if Kevin is healthy. Which way did you look at it? Uh, an opportunity, you know, it's always, you know, we got a saying here is next man up. So just being ready for your opportunity and, and seizing it. KJ, you had uh, four four uh, dunks off the of lobs from DeJuan tonight. What was it you guys were seeing that, that uh, made it a little easier for that to happen? Um, since they're not really guarding me on the three-point line, they're kind of backing up in the paint. So they're usually focused on either Hunter or Juan passing the ball. So. I can make those easy cuts and then transition. I'm, I'm faster than a lot of people down, well, going down low when they're guarding me. And then a lot of different lineups tonight. Well, what was it like being able to play with so many different players out on the court at the same, you know, throughout the entire night? Yeah, it was really fun. It was fun that uh, coach was doing many different lineups, play with different people that usually don't get to play with when Kevin's out there. So it was good. A fresh new lineup every every couple of minutes. So it was, it was fun and fast paced this game. On a similar note, just felt like in some of the bench heavy lineups you guys had, you, you held together a little bit better on defense than you might have in some previous games. Just what do you think was key to that execution? Um, I think just fresh legs and just our preparation for practice. Um, Coach really harped on defense um, during for this game. They're a really good team. So just uh, getting them out of the, off the three-point line and um, guarding them when it's only 10 or 5 seconds left in the shot clock. KJ, you've been in the, through enough Saturday, Monday situation know how it works one way or the other. But when you're coming off a last a loss on Saturday, how beneficial is that to get that flushed and move on to the next one? Yeah, of course. We always, when this is one of the hardest conferences in the nation, so just kind of putting that in the back window, but keeping that same edge when we come back to this game. And now we got an even bigger game um, against Houston. So just keeping that same next game mentality. Don't look too far ahead. Just keep uh, looking for the next game and just trying to get that one off. So, Mark, I think this is the most meaningful play of the conference play began. How do you think this long run can just help you as the season progresses? Uh, just getting more comfortable making in-game reads. You know, practice is one thing, but being in the game is another. So uh, just finding that comfortability and, and uh, you know, finding what situation to do what and just, you know, and just repetition with that. And in your role coming off the bench specifically, what are the things that the coaches have been coaching you up on or harping on and wanting to see from you when you have the uh, Mainly just talking uh, in the defense more, you know, uh, just making switches easier, finding the back layer of defense, talking so everybody can hear me and uh, make sure the rotation is right, stuff like that. And then offensively, just make an easy play, drive, uh, draw help, and, and kick to the shooters that we have. Hey, KJ, you've been through this grind before. As you mentioned, Houston Saturday and then K-State Monday. What, what, what's the keys in the next couple games for you guys, especially when you're not, you might not be 100% healthy? Uh, just playing tough. Those, those two teams play really hard, really fast, and they like to get a lot of grind, uh, a lot of hardcore wins, just kind of um, playing harder than the opponent. So if we can just play harder than them and uh, defend, defend their drives and slow down people like Jamal Stratt, I think we'll have a good chance. Now, Marco, what did, <coughs> what did Kevin tell you before the game? I just said, you good, boy. Just, you know, you good. So, you know, when you get the confidence like that, you know, it just helps you, you know, catapult your play. KJ, what, what was it like playing without Kevin and having this, you know, not a sad deal? 
I wouldn't necessarily say sad, but <laughs> it was it was definitely a um, um, something we didn't want to have on the court. But we have uh, guys to step up like El Marco and everybody else on the bench, um, ready to play. Um, Kevin was just um, helpful as much as when he's on the court, when he's off, because he helps people during the game and uh, when we have timeouts. So uh, Kevin's a good leader, so he helped us even not being on the court. Do you think he'll be back soon, knowing him? Uh, I really don't know his status, hopefully, but we'll see. Hey, El Marco, following on that a little bit, is there a sense of pride of knowing, hey, we could let Kevin take a night and rest and, and hold it down for him? Uh, Yeah, you know, like I said, just, you know, we have that next man up, uh, uh, like, motto that we have. So, you know, just getting in with the coaches and working uh, on the court in the film, film room and stuff like that, you know. Uh, just makes the transition, uh, you know, having these more minutes easier. And, and I, I wanted to ask you too: Was that the most comfortable you felt in a while? You talked about the comfort, but you looked it tonight. Yeah, no, for sure, that was probably the most comfortable. Yeah. Anything else? Thanks, folks. Thanks.